yeah welcome to this channel once again here is learn photoshop today we are creating this simple birthday flyer so what i'm doing right now is i'm creating background for the design okay so we just need to add our solid color then from here i will go to the ellipse tool and create this elliptical shape here okay from here i will press u okay press u then i will change the color for the fill to white okay so after changing the color for the fill then i'm going to stretch my shape and rotate it okay so i'll rotate it this way and reposition it like this so that we have something like this okay so i'll get something like this now from here what i'm going to do next is I'm going to add my rectangular shape but before then I have to create this guides okay so I will come here and drag one guide here okay and create another guide here so this one is going to create a space around my main design okay so I will go for the grid lines and you can see that I have given a gap of 0.5 for each of them okay so i'll go for the rectangle tool and then draw this rectangle something like this so after drawing the rectangle change the color to your color that you want okay then from here what we are going to do next is we need to make a copy of the elliptical shape that we created so the ellipse tool i'll drag it up above the up the square or the rectangle shape then i'll change the color to this color okay then i will right click on it okay but i need to make some adjustment before i will do that so i'm going to do some small adjustments reposition it again like this so i have something like this okay so you just need to watch and practice as I do. That is how you can learn how to design. Maybe you see some design on Pinterest or wherever you find it. You just pick it up then you practice it. That is how you can learn design. So from there, I'll clip that particular shape to this particular uh, pair. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a shadow effect to my a square shape okay i'm going to add a shadow effect to the square shape here so i will click on the drop shadow here and then i will set the opacity to city to this number this kind of percentage so as you can see i'm just trying to drag my shadow so that it becomes more visible and make sure you increase the size so what you're going to see is that you're going to see like uh the rectangle shape or the square shape is going to be like a floating shape lying on the main background okay it is going to float on the main background so because of the shadow that's what i'm trying to talk about so you can see it's floating on it okay so from here what we are going to do next is we are going to add another shape to it so with this one i'll go for this one i'll go for the triangle to and create this triangular shape okay then i will change the border or the stroke white and then i will change it to this kind of blocking lines okay so when i'm done now we'll make sure i'll change the fill. so let's do some adjustment i'll make sure i'll reposition it press u and then drag this particular uh, dot here inwardly so that you get something like an elliptical shape or an ellipse shape okay so you have something like this so you are i'm just trying to get the shape that i want then from here i'll expand it okay so the more you expand the more you get your triangular shape back so what i will do next is i just need this area to look more like this so i'll go for the pen tool and then dust it here like this okay so that you have something like this please if you are new to this channel do well and subscribe because this is the channel for you to learn complete 
flyer design in photoshop okay because i will guide you through step by step as we are doing here and make sure you like our videos and comment as well okay so from here what i will do next is i will fill this one up with different color okay then i will make sure i will change the stroke as well so this is what i'm going to do so you can see we have the stroke there so go here and turn off the stroke so that you have something like this you get it now our next step is to import our image okay so i'll go here and import this beautiful lady here and then i will place her on my flyer she is very beautiful she is very beautiful yeah so from here i'll clip it to this particular shape like this okay now after getting this we need to add some kind of element of design okay if you have watched some of my previous tutorials you will know what i mean by element of design and element of design i mean we are talking about the ellipse the lines and whatever so the test all of them are element of design they come together to form the design so i'm going to create this ellipse shape here okay after create i'll create some two and then i'll speed up here so i'll just create small like this so make sure you create the ellipse don't fill it then the stroke you fill the stroke reduce the size so that you get this particular shape. some people also use test and then they'll use zero or uh how do you call it zero or o okay to do that particular circle uh, this more small uh, shapes here some people use this to do that you can also use the ellipse tool and then turn off the fill and then increase the stroke to maybe five then reduce the size so you get this so i'm going to speed up and then add more of this particular shape to it okay So I'll add more of them to it, okay? I'm just making copy of what I have done already, okay? That's what I'm doing here. So there's no need for you to keep creating and creating. Just make a copy of what you have done already, okay? So as you can see, my layers are very clean. I have made sure I have grouped all my elements in a folder as you can see from the screen so what i'm doing now is i'm adding the date of the date of birth to my design this is a birthday flyer so always try to add the date of birth as well you don't need to add the year you just need to add the month and the day okay so 20th uh september then i'll write plus one here so you go for the test and then just type here plus one okay you make a copy of that one or you just type plus one okay you know how to use this to write this so i will speed up some of the actions here plus one then i will change the one to white so when you are know how you can blend colors as well okay so these are some of the tips i've already told you that you don't need to use too many colors as you can see i'm using only four colors four four like white and some gray and some kind of cyan or something like that so and dark black you see like that so these are the colors i'm using for colors here so don't use too much colors and your colors should also match okay they should match don't use any color you don't go for red and don't go for like it will make your design look very um very bad okay so this is how you do it so you just need to add a uh, enjoy your day and then happy birthday you can also add the name as well okay add the name so i will change the font and make sure you use uh matching fonts okay don't use font which do not match i have a video on that you can check in my videos how to match font so that you know which font match with which font okay you don't need to go in you have a lot of font over there so you don't need to be using all the font for your designer <laughs> don't do design like that okay so i'll go for this font like this here and then i'll place it here so this is the step-by-step -step guide to create this birthday flyer we are almost create this birthday flyer we are almost done okay so if you are new to this channel please do well and subscribe my name is Felix. please thank you for watching this channel i will see you in the future
Bye bye. Makamu ina.